Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? I'm okay, thank you. But what about you? Yeah, I know. It's a sunny day. It's nice and warm out there. I think it's suntan weather. Don't you? Don't you? Well, you know, okay, it's getting, it's getting on a bit now. It's, it's, it's eight o'clock at night. And I think we need to join our guest. I think, yes, he's, he's on Zoom. Yes, he is. I've been giving the thumbs up. He is on Zoom. We've, we, he's been on before. You may well know him as the drummer from Bell and Sebastian. And he's also done some work with the Snow Patrol and a whole host of other people as well. He's met so many people. And I said to him, look, you, you, you know, so many people like that. You need to come on and tell us all about who you've met and uh, who you've rubbed shoulders with and who you played with and everything else. So he's back again. Ladies and gentlemen, big drum roll for him. It's Mr. Richard Colburn. He's back again. Hi, Richard. Hey, how are you doing, Simon? Thanks for oh. having me again. Thank you very much for coming back again to us. Uh, yeah, it was great to speak to you last time. You told us all about what you were doing with Bell and Sebastian and uh, what you'd done with Snow Patrol and stuff like that. So I thought we'd get you back in. Now, I've uh, I've been doing my research on you. OK, um, it's OK. Don't panic too much. I haven't found too much about you. Um, OK, uh, <laughs> but I I heard. OK, now you, 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 you're not a large bloke in any way, but I heard you used to be a pie seller back in the day. Now, do you know what? This goes back to our first manager who put um, put the details on Wikipedia. And for some reason, they all got a bit mixed up. That's Chris, who plays, who plays keyboards in the band. He was the one that sold pies, although it's my name. So everybody always says, did you sell pies at Celtic Park? I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, I've got so many meaty gags as well. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Oh. Well, okay. So, so it's Chris instead. We'll, we'll let you off then if that's the case. But I mean, from what you were telling me before, you did a lot musical wise in your radio. And you also mentioned to me last time you did some DJing as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, tell me a bit more about that. What do you do? Well, why did that start? That must be like 20 odd years. Well, I always kind of like dabbled a little bit. And then when the band started, we got a few opportunities to DJ. Chris and I, we, 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 we usually do it together. Uh, and from there, we, I don't know, it just snowballed out of control. So um, through a friend of ours, we, we, we kind of get DJ gigs all over the place. I, I mean, we DJ all over the world. It's crazy. Wow. Um, I mean, you name it, from Japan to Brazil to you know North America, it's all over the place. And quite often as well, when we're on tour, I like to do after shows or, or, or after we come off stage, I'll go to a club and DJ. Yeah, well, why not? Why not? And, and fill, fill your pockets with money at the same time and have a, a bit of a party. Something to do. And, and something to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So that, that that's really cool. So we're going to talk a bit about uh, what who you've met and, and stuff like that um i i know when i spoke to you before i, I don't think it was on air but i spoke to you and you mentioned you'd been on probably my all-time favorite music program ever called the tube that was the one yes. back in the 80s with jules holland and paula yates on it i just Fabulous. love that program and Fabulous. you were on on there what do you remember of uh, being on that show well it was it was a kind of because it's still on it i don't know if it was no it would, would have been on air 99 but well, they did a tube special for the millennium oh, okay at newcastle where they used to film the original series you know and um uh and for some reason they asked us i don't know why but the other <laughs> bands were like paul weller prince mccartney oh, uh, oh. there was a lot of big 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 hitters and us and i remember just going in and like everybody's security apart from us <laughs> <laughs> they thought we were somebody else's security not very good security obviously um uh and yeah yeah i, I remember having a wee chat with paul mccartney in, in, in the green room <sighs> just giving me hey guys uh, how are you doing uh, well i just lovely man just chatting away just you know quite interested in young musicians and all that and uh and, and prince's entourage where you you know you had to stay a certain distance away and all the rest of it and blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> Big memories of it, but I just remember getting absolutely hammered at the sort of after show thing. <laughs> yeah, great. Halcyon days. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I mean, I, I, I was lucky enough to shake Prince's hand once and play his guitar. Uh, oh, so I did manage to get quite close to him. It was an after show and um, a long story, but basically I made my way right to the front and I screamed at him all night, give me a guitar, because I'd seen him do it before to other people. So at the end of it, he gave me his guitar and I played it for a few seconds. Wow. But I, you know, that, that that was in the days when, oh, God, who was his drummer? The really famous session drummer um, that isn't with us anymore. Can't think of his name now. 
Um, uh, no, it will it will come to me. It will come to me. Um, yeah. he, he was playing drums, and they had um, Shaka Khan was there, Candy Duffler on the uh, the oh, saxophone, um, Sly and the Family Stone bass player. Um, oh, I should know his name. I can see his face, and I can't think who he is now. Uh, and all these guys. So I was playing with these guys just for oh, a few geez. seconds, but it was just like, wow, <laughs> this is a different planet, man. It was amazing. Um, so, yeah, I, I did, did get to. So um, so McCartney, I mean, you're, you're bumping into him, and he yeah. comes in your dressing room. I mean, what's your thought when he comes in? I mean, that's just surreal, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a great leveller, you know? You're like, oh, hello. And he's a really nice down-to-earth guy, just like, oh, what are you doing here? Oh, is that your band? What kind of stuff are you doing? And interested in you, you know? And and you're just like, yeah, yeah, Bill and Sebastian, Scotland, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are. It's good. It's fine. <laughs> did, did you get to meet the presenters? you get to meet Jules or Paula? Yeah, well, we, we've played Jules Holland before, uh, well, after that. Uh, or, of course, yeah. Or, or, or maybe around about that time, actually. Um but I can't remember who else was presenting. I just, I, I just vague, vague memories, you know. And, um, but uh, obviously, Jules Holland was, you know, was was there. Um, I'm trying to think who else did that. Do you know what? I started watching a lot of reruns of it, and I forgot how amazingly good the tube actually oh, was. It was absolutely because you just did not know what was going to happen next. No, literally, no. seat of the pants. No, in the eighties, it was you know it was oh. the place for the band. So I mean, the, the, the cult. I fell in love with the cult watching yeah. them. Frankie goes to Hollywood out the there football. as well. There was uh, Val Wow, Big Country. Oh, I mean, all the, the bands, the lineups. Jeez. I know, Simple Minds, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, I used to see them all first yeah. on there. I am. See that, yeah. and, and yeah, and playing live as well. Yeah, um, yeah. you know, Madonna yeah. even first. Yeah, first yeah, that's right. The UK, it was, she was on there. She was pretty good at the time as well. So yeah, it was it what was for me it, right the pinnacle on there. Look, you, we mentioned McCartney. We better play some Beatles. I think it's only fair. Um, I quite fancy a, a day in the life. I was talking to a, a, one of my colleagues earlier on about this song. So I'm going to stick this on and we'll come back after this. Good. <laughs> 